Welcome to Job Skills Share. Today I'm making a tool video, which is a quick video for help desk course. So once you guys log into the portal and log into the site, click on sign in, and then go to the help desk course, which is help desk support entry level to specialist, and then go all the way down and click on forms. This video is going to go under my tool section and it's going to be under tool uh, troubleshooting tools and it's going to say best all-in-one troubleshooting ISO I put it ISO because it's a file ISO it comes with it and then you can put it in your CD or DVD or sorry USB it's up to you but I just put it ISO now I have used a lot of live CDs for troubleshooting like hi uh, hiring CD other CDs a lot of Linux ones but this one is just one of the best that I could um, find it has everything in there so I mean that's the main reason I would like something to have a lot of things so I don't have to like create too many CDs for uh, different stuff uh, it has everything inside so we're gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna show you guys a little demo and then what it is basically you have a computer let's say you have a let's say you have a, a president of your company somehow his computer went down uh, like you know operating system error in there and you just want to get the data from that computer uh, it's very important for you to get that data because maybe your president says hey I have a lot of files on my C drive and I need to get those it's very important right so you did have like a backup for him and everything but let's say you don't have you didn't put a backup on his C drive you're just backing up his like you know whatever drive you gave him maybe it was on a server but he saved some a lot of stuff on the C drive now how do you get that it's not on a server it's not somewhere else you need to get to the this uh, hard drive somehow so this is where these little live CDs uh, comes in pretty handy if you have a Linux CD or anything that you can just burn it to a CD um, they will do the job you can get to that those files get it and uh, just once you get it you can re-image it and you use other techniques so uh, this is one of the scenarios that basically you would be needing this kind of stuff other would be either a uh, computer is on the domain okay and uh, sometimes what happens if the computer is off for a long time uh, your domain trust relations between the client and the domain um, somehow you're gonna get the error it says hey we can I connect this to computer to domain so now you're out of luck your your domain administrator account won't work you can't log in as you per the person can log in as him so you all you are gonna do is you're gonna wait for, you're gonna basically need that local administrator account to get into that computer and then basically join it back to the domain to be able to work but the other way is let's say you don't have you you disable the local administrator account you don't have a local administrator account on that machine you will need something like this to get into that machine and do s some other stuff with it so these are the kind of little scenarios that I just put out there but you can use it for a lot of other reasons and we're gonna go in and see what it can offer so what you need to do you need to click on this link and once you click on the link it will take you to the site now the link I would suggest right click on it and then say open a new window so now it's gonna open up and hold on something is not right here I'm going to copy this oh I see why so I'm gonna fix this quickly right now and do this because it was going to a wrong <laughs> wrong thing. okay so I'm going to fix this link quickly and this is another troubleshooting for you guys you know some somebody click on a link and they couldn't get in you just want to make sure the link is correct so now the link is should be fine and you guys when you guys go back in there just click on this it should take you to this page right here alright so what you need to do is you need to install this and it says full ISO download I did that one I haven't done this one so it's up to you guys I did it so I clicked on it then it went to download and it basically downloaded it you do need a 7 zip full, uh, 7 zip to basically unzip the file so once you you can basically go to Google after you download that file you can just type 7 zip 
and then click on 7-zip here and then download this .exe or MSI it's up to you 64-bit 32-bit make sure you guys are doing it the right one so when you download it and it's the, the installations are done you go back to your download here and right click on the ISO file that you downloaded this is the one that I got it from the site right click on it click on 7-zip and extract file so once you extract file it will give you this folder right here and when you double click on it this is the file that you need to burn it to the CD or uh, making a USB and here's a USB instructions in there too if you want to try that out but I just have an ISO for you guys to just test it so I'm not gonna burn anything right now basically you will be plugging in that CD to uh, your computer and then burning it to it so then you can use it physically on some machine so I have done the, these steps downloading it to save some time so what we're going to do is we're going to go directly to our virtual machine which I have XP uh, installed on this virtual machine now in real world you will have uh, a real machine basically you're going to be plugging in this USB or a CD so once you boot it you have to boot it to the CD or a USB so for example Dell system you have to click on F12 and then you're gonna say you're gonna once you go to the boot menu you're gonna say okay start the system from CD or USB the reason I'm explaining this stuff is that a lot of people could get confused when they don't know um, how this works for some people this might be a little boring because I have to kinda teach while I'm doing this this is not just to show the tool so I'm going to start this virtual machine right now and I have already told this machine to start it with so I have already picked that option basically like in real world I went to the machine I put the CD in and I say okay let's boot it from the CD and this is the option you're gonna get so you have all other options but the only options that I really like is and I'm gonna be working on is mini XP environment so what you do is you click on that and start your machine with that and we'll find out what options we can get from this live CD ISO or anything so we're just gonna have to wait here so leave that little installation and then you can see everything is coming up and that's it it was really quick now you have all the tools with you to troubleshoot you got a lot of stuff in here so sometimes you would need it some of the things you will really need it and some of the things are just there is like extra tools but it's very useful I, I, it has a lot of things so let's go ahead and first start with the 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 example that we started so for example I was working on this machine this is a president of the company I wanna get to his files I'm just gonna go to my computer and then local which is a local uh, disk and that's where the installation is and you could see it by the, the disk space too you see a lot of space in here like 200 GB 300 GB and that will tell you that it's a local uh, Windows so now you can get to, get to his files documents and settings and let's say this is the person you wanted to get you could get here and copy desktop you can copy here or you could go to the C drive like we said there's a lot of files on C drive itself maybe he has a lot of files in here and you can just copy those and uh, put it on a USB and then give him a uh, reimage the machine or reinstall the windows whatever you want to do but you have all the files with you now now um, this is something that everybody should keep in mind when you're working in a business or car corporate or anyone at home. If you use this with some other someone's without having some other permissions, asking some permissions, this is illegal. Then you cannot just log put this CD into someone's machine and get the data. That's illegal. You're definitely going to jail. So hopefully, people use this in the right manner. Um, and not use it for uh, illegal stuff so that is one of the reason that you would need it pretty powerful you could see without any problems you just went in got all the files and you're done with that call um, other things that you can do with is HPC which is higher and boot city uh, you would if you wanted this before you would basically 
um, get an ISO for Hiram Boot CD and then do all that to get to this uh, files you'll have to burn another CD but this CD already have it so which is pretty cool um, when you double click on that you get all all these different options that you can run so for example one of the examples that I was like if you can get to the machine you could run a password um, reset on it you can just reset the password I'm not gonna show that on a video so you guys can play around with yourself um, if you really wanna get to know that stuff um, but you can you could see you have a lot of different options that you can try and try to troubleshoot this um, system other things you have a network scanner here if you want to find out what's around you in the same um, network so you, you could just type your IP address I'm just gonna type 0 and then 0 1 and I'm just going to do this pretty powerful stuff in here and just for now I'm just gonna use 10 and now I'm gonna start scanning now the reason it's not scanning because you need to activate the network card in this and to do that you just go to Firefox and it tells you what kind of this network does not appear to be running so you could just activate it by first if it's a lane um, connected to your ethernet click the first option select L and it will ask you some questions in here now it's it found the network card it will do that process so you could see it's doing something right here and then leave all these options here click on apply OK and then click yes so once you do that you can basically surf internet on this live CD from here um, even if you didn't have any system installed on that machine you could plug in the CD and use it for this um, so now I know that my internet is working I could just scan it and you can see all the machines in my at my in my home network this popped up right now home PC the one that I, that's running this virtual machine IT then PC is another PC and it start looking for other ones a lot of good stuff in here so that's just one example uh, other things you can do with it not now it's really up to you um, what are the main purposes to basically uh, using the live CD but I, I think it's everyone everyone should have or must have this this type of tool with you because it this kind of stuff doesn't happen all the time when you're working in a uh, in a business area or anywhere you're working as a tech this is not something you do you play around with every day this is something happens once in a while like in a month but if you don't have this you're gonna have to create all this stuff and it takes you time and remember when it, when things goes down like for a, a like a presidency uh, computer or someone like that those are very sensitive and time time sensitive calls and these are the, the people who basically if if you can't help them then <laughs> it will be a problem for you I mean you can but it's like the time thing you know so it's better to have this kind of tools with you on the site so if something like that was to happen you're so calm you're not stressed you, you you know that you can get the data and you have the image you have the backup ready uh, so get the data and put the new system on it and you're good to go so that's how it works hopefully you guys learned something from this video and um, I will be coming back with a different one thank you